Well, Brian Harvey knows why Steamboat Springs has been named the most generous town in the country. He and the community came together to help a family getting through one of the hardest times. Our Matt Crochel explains from Steamboat. Steamboat style includes a whole lot of outdoor fun, some good old fashioned ranching traditions and a huge side of generosity. The Denver Nuggets have cooled down a bit. Brian Harvey has one of the most recognizable voices in the Yampa Valley. I've lived here for 30 years. I've been in radio for 30 years. Sadly, it was his voice that had to break some tragic news last week. This is a tough one, especially, you know, when you're dealing with a 10 year old boy. Uh, and it's tough for me because I, I knew him. A 10 year old named Drew Rushton had passed away. And they want to build something uh, and leave something in Drew's um, remembrance. Brian's son played hockey with Drew on the youth hockey team here. In the wake of this tragedy, Steamboat doing what Steamboat does best. We rally around those in need. Coming together to find light in the darkness. We should be called, you know, Fundraising Town USA. Their GoFundMe is about to top $30,000 already. Drew's family wants to use the money to create ways for kids to experience hockey at little to no cost. People who live here, their friends, their neighbors, their coworkers are also considered their family. So when any, whenever someone is in need, everyone steps up. And that's why Steamboat's Chamber CEO wasn't surprised to learn this small town is the most giving town in the country on GoFundMe. Time and time again, the community turns out and supports all these efforts to um, help make our neighbors have a better lifestyle um, or um, an easier way through life. And the giving continues, Steamboat style. You will be there for them or their family if something terrible has happened to them. Overall, Colorado, the third most giving state in the entire country. Reporting in Steamboat, Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.